वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द शॉप ड्राइंग आई विल प्रिपेयर नाउ फाउंडेशन डिटेल सो एज यू सी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आवर बेस प्लेट साइज वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बाई थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी we are making base plate so our edge distance is 50 mm okay so our anchor bolt size was 24 mm the whole size will be 28 so i am making just one center reference line column size was 160 8.3 mm the thickness was 7.1 mm then we have used six stiffener you can use also four but i recommend six if you are the fabric is a uh, pvc better on the front and back use two stiffener as i tell in previous video just keep here gap a little light and mm so there will be good welding here just mirror here okay now this also you can mirror after that you have to rotate it to now this is a 90 degree angle between two stepner and then till here it is 45 and then we have to rotate it to half of this so it will be 22.5 degrees then mirror mirror and mirror okay so it is very easy or you can use the 3d to 2d convert 3d to 2d the base plate but i am making new for easy understanding and all things so this is the points of the center point of the hole copies copies copy so from here up to here we have 50 mm here up to here we have 250 mm again 50 and then it is a 350 mm base plate size i will just mirror you can label it here easily the 8 mm hole hole for m24 4 m24 grid for Six. You can use graded point eight if the specs requirement, the design requirement. Otherwise, for general use, four point six will work nicely, fine. And then you have to mention here the anchor bolt length of the or embedded length. Like if we will consider like five hundred mm embedment length, embedded length. next will be this uh, labeling sorry column or you can put column here and then use this one as a stiffener so we have eight So it's six. We have six ten mm thick stiffener. That's hundred and fifty mm high. And then we have 
column here. by 7.11 mm thick mass should be 40 column or pipe whatever you want to write so this is base plate 350 by 350 by 20 mm thick you can use 16 also for general use without design calculation base plate okay so our base plate detail is ready only you have to you have to mark one arrow direction here because uh, it is if you are considering six anchor bolt or like we uh, right here projection direction so this will be so it means this is the front or back this two step I will come on the front and back so after that I just I will copy this base plate okay Now I, we have to design the pedestal neck column. So we have here 50 mm. So we need to make at least 50 mm offset after the base plate because this this covering concrete covering should be minimum or the best. Uh, foundation life it should be 100 mm so this is the pedestal neck column then we have a foundation 1.2 by 1.2 or as per structural design I am making now without structural design just general you can use even it will one meter by one meter also it will work but uh, there could be option like if uh, centric foundation and centric foundation it's depend on the condition where you are fixing if you have space so I will recommend this use this centric foundation So I will prepare for this one, the foundation details, I will just draw the projected line, okay. I will use here, base, I will use here, 600 by 400. can at least your foundation volume should be one cubic meter like now our foundation size is 1.2 by 1.2 by I will make 0.6 so it is 0.86 cubic then I will make 0.55 by 0.55 by 0.4 plus point six point eight six so it is point nine eight I need to increase a little bit I will make this uh, 700 700 bed then I will make or I will usually we are making like 800 plus 200 so this will be our foundation Concrete, so 
so reinforcement design I will suggest just draw a line then offset at least at least 60 mm usually in there is design calculation the structural engineer are considering this space is a 50 mm but actually this should be at least 60 to 70 mm so we have here I'm using here thickness 12 mm round bar I will make this is only for a design I have here also 12 mm So here we are making the reinforcement. Okay. So I will tell you the basic technique. Our foundation size is now 1.2 meter. Okay. So as per structural design, engineer will just. Uh, minus 150 plus 50 divided by some time or regularly 150 ms spacing so it is 7 plus 1 so it is 8 8 numbers of three bars we have already two on the edges we need six more so we have to divide this one into seven to get six points so we will copy mirror first these two three bars then copy this points we will copy all the ring and then delete this points but practically this is it is not like this actually it is uh, something like this after that there will be we have to check this length how much length we are getting so here we are getting 1.742 we so to avoid the wastage we will consider it one piece like two or two meters so I'll minus it one seven four two. So it is a uh, two fifty eight divided by two. So it is a uh, offset of one thirty. We'll consider it one twenty five. Okay, uh, one twenty five. Okay, offset this. Make it here here. So now one nine nine. Our one piece length is one ninety nine. Okay, the next piece will be mirror. So, as per side, actually on the elevation, it is look like this. But actually, this is it will be one after one. So on the elevation, it is look like that. I hope you understand this. I will move a little, like five mm. Then you can easily see like this this is a practical way of the reinforcement after that if this portion is bigger than 50 centi I will recommend here to add at least two members here I will divide it to three so there will be Two members here, here. So just mirror. After that, this this is the foundation bed. So I have to I'll just draw the construction line for this. So you can understand how actually it is a uh, 
these all reverse are like that as I can number two so it is like this all will be tied through the wire so now we have here neck column uh, we will draw a line and move like 20 mm um, stretch it till here and offset same offset as but this we make here 60 mm here so I stretch wrongly still uh, here no okay so I offset so this one match with color sorry I have to offset 60 mm this one then we stretch it here I will delete this one match this is also vertical bar color mm I will but I will recommend this if you without if you are checking the design calculation it will see less than 60 mm will not pass so I will make here 16 mm 16 mm okay I will trim it to here and here I will move this part it should be at least 20 centimeter but depend on the length how much length for a piece you are considering so now we are getting here 1.99 so we have we have options we are getting 12 meter length so if we will use 2 meter not possible if we will use uh, like uh, divide by 3 we get only if we 12 divided by 5 we have 2.5 length if we are able to make it 2.4 we can it will be good no wastage so we are getting here 2 so we will make here 20 centimeters 200 at least 200 as I told you before so it is good no, we don't have much wastage here a small radius so now we have length c2373 so our size was requirement was 2.4 meter if we can get five pieces from the 12 meter length so it is good if there is no wastage at all here so after that here we have to use the ring bar Dia 10 mm a little. so this will be always outside of the vertical bar I will also draw the cross-sectional view of this neck column so that you can understand easily this is uh, called like links rebar There's different method of draftsman, different techniques who so have shown this foundation, but this is my I am always making like that so it is look more practical. 150 if you don't want to make this river it is fine also you can use here like uh, three piece here spacing 100 and then 100 only this three piece will fine or only two will also work so here after that we have uh, I will make offset of the out on the outer side I will make a thickness of this like 5 mm uh, 
change this to other line. Line, I will click hidden line. I'll add this hidden 5x, okay. So this should be hidden 5. So here I will change the color. Here I will trim this portion, I will trim also. Here blinding and we have well compacted soil at least at least 10 centimeter. So here we have a concrete pattern. So I'll choose this so I need to make a little bit uh, bigger. Five. I will copy the same. Then I will add it. Choose. Can use earth, earth pattern you can use here. Search here earth pattern, earth pattern. I am using like this, or you can use here gravel or this pattern. It's up to you. So here, I use here TML. this soil and the second option you can use uh, like this you can use gravel or this one gravel with the uh, also this but at least uh, I use uh, 5 like this this but I recommend I am not using regularly this one. I'm always using this one. Oh I make too much control Z then it went too much back. Offset ten mm. Okay, I will make uh, width five. Hidden line, this is the so I will trim this portion. I will copy this first. I will make it hatch here, hatch pattern like concrete. Then here's like five. I'll copy like this. Then hatch edit. Then I will choose a uh, hatch pattern earth. Then I will make an angle 45 degrees. I will increase like 50, like 250. It's fine now. So I will write here. Uh, I will write here like uh, 100 mm blinding. Concrete. So this will be concrete. And here I have a well compacted soil. Then I recommend here. TMM move then in the middle here middle here add one line then at least 100 mm rotate this to 45 degree mirror mirror this to here, join, join, join. You can do like this, or you can 
join this this like this it is up to you so this will be also a layer 100 gauge polypropylene sheet will come here like this is a separate change its color blue so our elevation is almost ready we have to then we have here 30 mm lining our plate size was 350 and we need to draw the elevation 350 by 20 mm so here we have now so this one is burnt back I need to draw this link bar again So here we have foundation plan. The column size is 450 by 450. That is the minimum requirement. You can stretch it up to 500 by 500 also, but I will suggest that keep it at minimum. So here we have like 1.2, we have 1.2, then here we have 200 mm, totally 1 meter. Anchor bolts. I have anchor bolts here. Twenty-four mm, six hundred mm long and five hundred mm battery length. Here, two fifty. Length will start from here up to here 500. So, this is the thread will be above the finishing floor level.
so we have to show the level you can use any symbol for this level we have to write this is the finishing flooring after that there will be 30 mm grouting okay so in other case if you have a if you have uh, you want to make this all below the finishing you have to keep at least at least 200 mm to match this level if you want this finishing flooring here in that case you can just drag a little down this stiffness so this will be finishing down below it is more 200 mm it is only in that case if you have below the floor level requirements so now we are considering this one and our foundation is ready I have to prepare one cross section from here so we have I will copy this part I will keep the anchor position at same I will offset just remember that now this is at this location offset from here up to here so here the thickness of this ring bar is 10 mm okay make some radius so here these was hole for anchor bolts I will make hatch like different color hatch this is the points for anchor bolt so we can check here is it anything clashing we have a 16 mm vertical bar change this color as it is white so this was not, no thing nothing was clashing so i recommend here at least Eight number of bars you can use. So here there will be another ring. I will copy this and rotate five degree. is the section of the pedestal so our all detail is ready only labeling is balanced we have to label it here like this one is 8 t 16 
we will adjust it later on the layout. We have here 168.3 by 7.11 mm thick. Yes. Should be 40 column or 5, whatever you want to write. Split base plate of three hundred fifty by three fifty by twenty mm thick base plate. Then we have vertical bar eighty sixteen. Label is uh, TMM thick non shrink cable routing material. This no problem. This will also work. Routing. So the next will be this, uh, G12 center center and mm top and bottom both ways. Everything is completed. Only one label is balanced here. We we'll make here two layer of waterproofing. You can use waterproofing membrane. You can use bitumen paint. Generally, a yeah, cheaper one is bitumen paint. So then we have to add in the layout. Maybe enter one is to ten, so it is lesser. So this is also fine. It is uh, only if you don't want to make 
scale you can just simply do like more bigger or like it so right here and yes Yes, not to scale. Then here we are dividing this half of the page into three equal parts for adding a base plate and pedestal details and anchor boards. We already make the base plate details. So here we have. We can show the next one will be. Design section BB. So here, this is uh, you want to show it to in scale, try to four, otherwise, a little bigger. You can choose so we'll go with NTS scale. Display details. Details. You can write parking or parking shed structure. Five foundation detail. This way be sheet two of two. You can add your projects detail. Space manage also you can reduce by scale also. can cross check all the things so here we have to remove one thing as I notice 
I have right here. This I just copy hold it in, but this is uh, only we are showing here in the bolts. No need to show here hole size. So that is perfectly fine. You want if you want to recheck, you can cross check. I hope you understand this all. It is not a too difficult. I try to explain everything in very easy way. If you want to ask something.